Hello, Crystal fans. This is the second episode of the Crystal Archive podcast. Cut the theme. I'm Dwight House, the creator of the Crystal Archive. For the next few minutes, I'll be talking about recent Crystal and Star Fox news and updates. At the end of the last podcast, I ended by saying that I'd be going to a doctor's appointment where I'd be totally knocked out, relieved of my own consciousness. Well, I'm perfectly fine. Thanks for asking. Uh, I feel better now than uh, before I went. So, if you were worried or anything, no, no need to worry. I'm perfectly fine. Secondly, uh, everyone seemed to love the first episode, despite how bad it was. Uh, and I really appreciate all the uh, support you guys gave me. And I'm going to go ahead and make this new one this week. It's just a week after the first one. So uh, I'm glad you all liked it so much. I, I promise they'd be better in the future. And already I think this one's going to be much better than the first one. Continuing on with the podcast-related news, I submitted this podcast to the iTunes Music Store uh, podcast listing, and uh, that was on Tuesday or Wednesday. I submitted it, and by Thursday, it was uh, it was accepted. And you can find a link to the iTunes Music Store's listing of the podcast in the show notes today. Shortly after I released the podcast, a guy named Mister Showtime did a quick podcast or pseudo podcast like MP3 and posted it all around, especially at Our Wing Landing. Star Fox Online. I heard about it on Star Fox Online. He, he calls it uh, Mr. Showtime's Extreme Star Fox MP3. That's pretty good. It's about 15 minutes long, kind of short, but uh, he, he, uh, he stays on topic and he's a great uh, radio voice and he uh, focuses on the Famitsu magazine scans showing Crystal crying and he talks about that and his ideas uh, about that subject and you can find a link to his post about that in the show notes as well. Now let's get to the main point of the podcast. Recent Star Fox Command news. Now, on the 20th of June, a guy by the name of Django Fett 777 posted on the KLA that he had received his issue uh, of Nintendo Power, the August edition. He said that Fox dumped Crystal to protect her from the dangers of the mercenary profession. And some people, including myself, didn't fully believe him because that just didn't seem like uh, something he would do. But, if it was true, I speculated that uh, by the end of the game, Crystal would be back at Fox's side, where she belonged. Probably through some event, like uh, he had to rescue her, uh, she got herself in trouble again, or perhaps uh, she'd rescue him in some plot twist. Uh, And Mr. Okidoki... Uh, had a genius idea that uh, maybe it's Nintendo's plan to split her entirely from the team and give her her own game, This the rumored Crystal Adventures game. It's a highly unlikely scenario, but it would be totally awesome if true. I'm willing to add another 5% chance to the Crystal Adventures rumor on the rumors page at the Crystal Archive, but I haven't made that update yet. That's coming soon. So I went all around town looking for this issue because apparently it had come out for some people and I could not find it. I kept looking and looking and I went I went all to all the bookstores every day. I went to every bookstore trying to find it. Couldn't find anything. But uh, I guess they just didn't have it out yet. And then today, this morning, I called up uh, Nintendo uh, to, to in addition to taking the time to resubscribe to Nintendo Power, I asked them, uh, if when that issue would come out, he said that that issue would come out um, on on uh, July fifteenth, and I'm going to talk about that later. But that's important because of the way I said it, the way I asked him the question. So I'll get to that in a minute. But I'll just say that I was looking for it, and then today he basically said, "Oh, it won't come out till next month." Then later today, Cassathra contacted me and said he had it. He had gotten the issue, number 206, and uh, he sent me the scanned versions, and I converted them for him so he could post it on the KLA. 
And uh, he, he did, and most notably, it said exactly what Django Fett 777 reported originally, which was which is what I'm going to read you right now. Here's the, uh, the subject in question. It's a uh, third or fourth paragraph on the first page. It's talking about the different characters. Okay, this is from Nintendo Power, page 80, num issue number 206. While the story centers around the new menace, Star Fox Command will feature familiar characters from all corners of the series universe. Wolf O'Donnell, Leon Pulowski, and Panther Caruso, collectively known as Star Wolf, the rivals of Team Star Fox, who first appeared in the N64 game, will make a return appearance, but as friends or foes. And the female Fox Crystal, whom Fox met during his ventures on Dinosaur Planet, will be back as well. Whether or not this means love is in the air remains to be seen. Fox more or less dumped Crystal, so she wouldn't be subjected to the dangers of his profession. So Jangle Fett was correct all along, and uh, it's confirmed that uh, Crystal, at least at the beginning of the game, will not be there. So that leaves plenty of room for speculation. Whether I mean, it could be literally anything. It could start. It could be she returns based on a path you take through the game. You can just because because we know because also from this. Uh, article we know that it was also true that the the team had broken up but now that the new threat arises it needs to be built back up so uh, whether or not we don't know if it means that Crystal is along one of those paths or whether she's a major plot twist in the whole story of the game where she's she makes a bigger difference perhaps she's the final person you get no matter w what team you build up or perhaps uh, she comes in rather early or maybe she doesn't come in at all, depending on which way you go. And then there's also the possibility that she could have joined Star Wolf. I mean, I hate to think of that possibility, but it is a possibility. And uh, we know she's coming back, but we don't know how much or even for how long. She may just le end up leaving again at the end of the game, which could support the theory uh, of the Crystal Adventures game uh, occurring. So no way to know uh, until the game comes out and we get to play through the story. Speaking of which, Star Fox Command's release date is now confirmed to be August 28, 2006. So it's a little more than a month away, about a month and three days. So uh, not too much longer to wait. Uh, on Thursday, IGN released the official box art for Star Fox Command, and this was back before we had confirmed the Nintendo Power uh, article, and originally I wasn't too excited about it, but if you look closely, and there's a link to it in the show notes, you can see that there are four R-wings. There are four R-wing-like craft in the image, which means that they're at, at, at one point in the game, your team will have at least four people on it. So I'm, I'm really hopeful that Crystal is one of it, hopefully early in the game. But that would be the first theory. Before I leave the topic of Star Fox Command, the, fi the main enemy of Star Fox Command was mentioned in the Nintendo Power as uh, something called anglers, which come from Venom, Venom's oceans. Uh, it's a giant toad-like creature who uh, took over Andross's old base. So, and there's there's a few other uh, interesting tidbits about the game. You can read that. You can read the scanned versions uh, that Cassathra put up on the KA. I have a link to that as well in the show notes. So, moving on from the Star Fox Command news, I have a bit of news about fan art. Okay, over the past over the past week, there's only been two new fan arts that have shown up on the internet, at least as far as I know. This is a definite decrease in the amount of uh, fan art for this amount of time. Normally there's at least four new fan arts per week. Often there's one a day or more. So uh, I'm hoping that this is just artists getting geared up to uh, play Command and, and make new fan art. So come on, artists out there. Uh, let's get some new fan art out there. Uh, you're, we're only a short distance away from the that thousand mark uh, in the archive. Here's my encouragement to you. Please make more art. Also, something I did today, I finally got around to actually counting uh, the number of fan arts in my collection because... I'm running on a Mac, and I believe one of the things you can do in Windows is see how many files 
are in a folder no matter how deep that folder tree goes and you can't really do that with a Mac it, it's based on where you're at I mean I'm, there's probably a way to do it I just don't know so I went and I counted uh, I counted each folders amount and then I used a Perl script to um, to count those counts and add them all up and it came out to my personal collection contains 1223 crystal fan arts and this is this is a this is no duplicates uh, over well over 1200 crystal fan arts the total size of this collection is 286.8 megabytes uh, 105 of them I don't know the artist's name I'm still trying to figure out who they who made them but uh, that's a pretty good percentage because I've had collections I've had a collection before and it wasn't it wasn't nearly uh, this accurate as far as knowing who made them and uh, where they were from so uh, this is a good effort and uh, eventually I hope to uh, to um, to find out who's who who did each of these fan arts so I can put them in the archive listing if I can find the artist's name I can possibly find their personal website where they may have it still posted because these fan arts probably aren't at DeviantArt anymore or, or something similar or I got them from someone else uh, 43 are what I label questionable which means they're not in the archive they violate one or more of the rules but they're below um, they're below the YIF level uh, I don't even accept nudity um, pictures I just uh, I collect only the clean and it's the uh, I've collected nothing beyond what I call unseen nudity which is she may be uh, nude but it's from another direction you can't you can't see you're not looking directly at her uh, such as when she's bathing or something and a couple pictures that come directly to mind are the um, those few uh, pictures that uh, Blackberry did uh, of her in the stream with the waterfall if you don't know that one you you can easily find her gallery and you can see what I'm talking about it's nothing particularly bad but it violates the rule and if I if I allow that one in it would allow certain other ones in that really shouldn't be in there so I had to draw the line somewhere and finally this collection has no screenshots no game recordings no official art it's entirely fan works now it's not all pictures either I also have um, 3D model files uh, and some and a couple of flash files from the from various artists doing various things uh, and anytime someone has a 3D render I keep a copy of that as well um, so that's in there and so that's that's my whole collection now pretty much complete it's the only the only thing left to do is add to it so I'm really happy uh, it's it's been four months of work getting this all together and it's finally done that's one major goal finished for the archive at least for me so uh, I hope I hope I haven't deviated too far and bored you with my own personal story but I just thought that was important and also I backed up my computer yesterday or, or two days ago and so those fan arts are never going to be lost to history they'll all uh, there will always be exist a copy and uh, so you need not worry you need not worry that these things will disappear because I have a copy if and if need be uh, if I don't know it may perhaps if the artist goes offline and no longer uh, exists online then I can post their art or something like that don't plan to don't plan on posting anyone's art but uh, the possibility exists and there's just take take uh, confidence that there is a near complete collection out there that's uh, really, really um, stable, I guess is a good word for it. Now, moving on, uh, Thursday was ESF Evolution Star Fox birthday. Uh, he's a good friend of mine. Or, I'm not sure if it was Thursday or Wednesday, but it was his birthday. He's a good friend of mine. I met him on Star Fox Online. He's one of the most obsessed Crystal fans I've ever known. And he's been an insp inspiration to me. He's more responsible for the Crystal Archives existent than he knows and uh, he also sent me his entire collection to add to my own so that's why my collection is so complete and he he's been really helpful and supportive and uh, always a good friend and about everything related to Crystal so thanks a lot and uh, I really appreciate everything you do and happy birthday 
Okay, so now we covered the Star Fox Command podcast and uh, fan art news and ESF's birthday. I'd like to get to Brawl news. Now, the reason I kept Super Smash Bros. Brawl news for the end was because I wanted to keep the uh, Nintendo Power um, tidbit I got today uh, towards the end. Okay, uh, I mentioned that when I was resubscribing to Nintendo Power, the guy on the phone said it wouldn't come out until July 15th. But later the same day, Cassathra had it, and he had gotten it, you know, a couple days ago, which means it was supposed to come out on June 15th. So, what issue comes out on July 15th? Well, that's the question, because when I asked the guy, I said, I was trying to specify which, which issue it was that I was trying to find out which one would be the first issue that I got when subscribing. And he said, oh, you'll get the August issue. And I said, oh, is that the one with the Wii special? And he says, yes, it's the one with the Wii special. Now, I was referring to this issue, the one that just came out. So that means that there's some big Wii special. It could mean anything, but I'm betting it has something to do with Super Smash Bros. Brawl and the other amazing titles that will be coming to the Nintendo Wii. If it doesn't say so already in the back of your Nintendo Powers uh, what next month's issue is going to be all about, you can know that there's quite a bit of Wii information in it uh, for the next month, for August, number 207. So, oh, and also related to Brawl is the Get Crystal in Super Smash Bros. Brawl project. I'm planning to end that tonight. Um... I mentioned last podcast that I was taking the last calls for uh, your signatures uh, to be sent in to Nintendo requesting Crystal. And I received one more signature over the week, so it kind of all comes to a total of 12, and I'm done asking for more. I'm uh, going to, as soon as I finish recording and getting this podcast online, I plan on taking those signatures, printing them out, doing the, the form, just like I said, and uh, and sending it in. And that'll be it. That's all I can do unless some new means comes in uh, into the picture to help us get Crystal and Smash. And also, because I'm ending the Smash project, as it were, I'm going to be merging the Smash project webpage into the Crystal archive, because it's really the same thing. And it's just going to be an article, like a historical article, such as the April Fool's 2006 joke article. So that so the smashproject.dewhitedesign.com will no longer exist after today. Uh, it will be, it'll probably have redirect at least for now to uh, to the article in the Crystal Archive. So thank you all for your support for going through the forum and submitting and being supportive and sending me your signatures. I. This is the final thing, and we're gonna, we're gonna, I'm gonna send it in, and uh, we're gonna cross our fingers and hope that they got the message that we really want Crystal and Smash. Now, if you've been reading the Crystal blog, you will have known that I promised a couple surprises in the next episode of the Crystal Archive podcast. Well, I really only have one surprise at this time. I didn't really get around to the uh, huge to-do list, but I did do one thing. And it's ready, and I've made sure that someone, that the person involved, Ari, has been taken care of. And I thought I would share this with you as well. The Star Fox Adventures, if you've ever looked at the source code, is in terribly, terribly cluttered. Files everywhere, badly organized. A lot of files on there we now know to be extra. They shouldn't have been included with the final project. With the final project, they were... They were transitional documents. There were uh, there was audio that was never actually used in the final game. They changed the storyline around quite a bit. Probably because of sort of such a short deadline, they had to do that. So, uh, if you've browsed the Crystal Archive, you know that I've posted all of the crystals, all of Crystal's audio from Adventures, including the stuff that was never used. And there's actually more stuff that wasn't used than what's actually used in the game. Uh, signif significant amounts towards the end of the game, which, of course, I speculate that Crystal joined Fox during the last tenth of the game or so and accompanied him on his mission 
I don't know. But there is a lot of other audio, not just for Crystal, but for other characters. Fox, um, Slippy, and especially Tricky. They have lots of audio that was never used in the game. And I don't know which or which because it's been, it's been a while since I've played the game. And there's no way I can tell all of the uh, audio that was uh, used or not. But what I did was I decoded it again. I had deleted it. I had, dele I had decoded it all at one time back when I was originally creating the archive back in December and January of 2005 and six, respectively. I had deleted it for some reason to probably to save space because I didn't think I'd need it anymore. Well, someone wanted it. They wanted the audio. Uh, so I got it for them and I redecoded it. it. Took a couple days and I redecoded everything and encoded it all to MP3. And it's still sitting there online. And I thought that, you know, this person uh, wouldn't be the only one who would enjoy it. So here's your surprise. Anyone who wants to can go and download every single bit of spoken audio in the game uh, from Star Fox Adventures right now. Uh, but before you go, let me just mention that uh, this is hosted on a, a file sharing site called PutForward. Uh, P-U-T-F-W-D dot com. And uh, it's very generous. They give me a, a gigabyte of space to store things and five gigabytes of bandwidth per month. So that means this is first come first serve. If you don't get it you're gonna have to wait till the next month or at least the next six days until the next month comes around. But um, I've split the thing up into four sets of zip files. Each one ranges from 40 to 60 or so megabytes apiece. The, to the grand total is about 211 megabytes of mp3s. Uh, they're all in the they all have the original names and original uh, locations. They're in the same original file folder named things. They're all it's all the same names, but they're not in uh, the proprietary audio format. They're in MP3 format. So there you go. You can download every single bit of spoken audio in the game, and it's quite a lot. Probably about at least five hours worth of audio. So. Uh, if you want to download that, you can find it at putforward.com slash Dwight House slash audio. And uh, if you can't get it, that means other people have gotten it already, so wait till wait a few weeks and try again. And you, eventually, I'm sure everyone who wants it can get it. I just hope you all enjoy that. That's my little surprise for this week. And uh, I probably won't be able to do something quite that interesting next week. And... Uh, unless there's a significant amount of new news next week, I doubt I'll be able to do another podcast. So it's probably going to be two weeks before the next podcast, at least. It might be longer than that. So I really hope you've enjoyed this episode. Probably won't have one next week. And uh, don't forget to get on the blog and tell me uh, what you think. And uh, oh, and don't forget to comment on the iTunes Music Store um, version of the podcast. Comment how much you like it. Oh, and by the way, if you go to the iTunes Music Store listing of this podcast, you might notice that there are two episodes, one. And that is, right now, an error with the feed. Now, I've already contacted Odeo, the creators of the feed, uh, about it, and they're trying to correct it. And uh, they're also looking into a way for me to custom edit the podcast myself. So uh, I'll be able to fix the other small errors that occurred when I was transferring it to the iTunes Music Store. But... That's coming in the next few weeks and months, so uh, don't you worry about that. Just subscribe with iTunes to this uh, this audio podcast, and I hope to make a new one uh, within two weeks or perhaps three or f a month like I originally intended. And of course, if there's extra news, I'll do my best to make a new one. Don't forget to check the Crystal Blog every day. And let's cut back to the thing.